Divers meet before sunrise to load the vessel with dive gear and lionfish harvesting tools. I'm Joe Kistel, and today we're going offshore to get some footage of lionfish, both via live capture and via spear. I'm going to catch them with a pole spear. I've got a pole spear, and I'm going to put them in a zookeeper and, you know, get as many as I possibly can. Once all aboard, the boat and team make their way offshore. All right, so where are you taking us, Captain Dan? Uh, we're going to go to the uh, HL area called Park Ledge, and uh, we're actually going to go to the Spike. Yeah, the spike's about an 80 foot tugboat that sticks up about 30 feet off the seafloor, so it's got a lot of structure. But yet, from our divers, it's, it's kind of an easy, easy dive because we can get around the whole boat and there's live fish on all of the Once over a reef site, divers descend down to the habitat below. It doesn't take long to find lionfish. Hunters with sling spears immediately begin to harvest fish. Now to some this may seem harsh, but the sheer damage these lionfish can do to an ecosystem justifies any means of harvest. We also had a team live capturing lionfish with a primitive net and bucket technique. Surprisingly, this method worked fairly well with only a few lionfish sneaking out every now and then. Once back on the boat, divers remove the spines from the lionfish and begin cleaning them. The lionfish fillets were then marinated in lime juice and added to tomatoes, onions, and cilantro. Now is the moment when the divers get to reap the benefits of their efforts, being treated to a tasty, healthy dish of lionfish ceviche. The one good thing about lionfish is that they are delicious. During this voyage, over 200 lionfish were removed from the ocean from only a handful of novice hunters. This trip was conducted during the Northeast Florida Lionfish Blast Tournament, which resulted in the removal of over 2,000 lionfish from our waterways. Considering the reproductive potential of each fish, each lionfish removed is a huge benefit. Unfortunately, the lionfish invasion is an ongoing problem. It will take continued efforts like these to help combat the excessive populations and secure the health of our marine habitats. I actually spent the half the dive chasing around. We put the Glen Cam on his back and he kept running into the structure, so our camera kept <laughs> falling back. So we're going to have some Blair Witch footage, I think. But we'll see I'll duck down next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs>